Titans at the line ready for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. They go play action. Bridgewater. They're going deep for Hill. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row and we're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for them. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, you're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. There's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board, but now they broke it. They broke it through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go forward. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. at the line ready to go still more than a minute to go so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here not only time but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well so that changes everything that you're doing here without those timeouts you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds here the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup and this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open just a little underneath route just trying to free up some space and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Throwing Jones. They still can't get it. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. And that's a tough throw for a right-handed quarterback rolling out to his left and trying to get the ball to a receiver. We've seen all those drills where they're trying to get the shoulders square and pointed towards the target downfield. Elsewhere on this Sunday in the NFL, they're in the second quarter in Detroit. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so he can throw the football. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. On third down, here's Harris. It'll be a gain of seven, but I'd imagine we'll see the punt team here on fourth down. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. Got the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. 
Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Juwan Bentley. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. Harris. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances, so they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. Again, it's Harris, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris with now three week one touchdowns. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, Charles, no matter what the prognosticators say before the season, whether they think you're going to be good, bad, or somewhere in the middle, you never quite know how week one is going to play out. But for them, it has been an impressive performance, and they are well on their way to a 1-0 start. Yeah, it's a lot like opening up presents, isn't it, partner? You're not quite sure what's inside, but you're hopeful, right? In this case, exactly what they were looking for, exactly what they need. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here... Oh, and Bridgewater intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Well, they definitely figured out something defensively at halftime, Charles. That's now two drives and two interceptions here in this third quarter. And I think the easy thing for us to say is, boy, they made an adjustment, didn't they? Or they showed him something different. I'm not so sure it's that as much as maybe he's just been impatient and forced the ball a little bit. In any event, as you noted, back-to-back -back interceptions thrown. Javon Holland coming up to make the stop. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Jones. That's caught by Myers. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. Touchdown! Ty Montgomery, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Pats take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is understanding the playbook. Not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses. Also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. 
this is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Edmonds. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Play fake. Bridgewater. That one complete to Hill. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On second down, this is Edmonds. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Bridgewater. And that will be incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Fourth down, they're going. Bridgewater. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, they run with Edmonds. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Bridgewater on first down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Patriots are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. What was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it, Kurt Cole? And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. The 40, 20, 10, 5, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Damian Harris, 93 yards. And the Patriots get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Fulk connects on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Bailey now to kick. 
kick it away after the touchdown. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled into 20. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read. Better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. To throw is Bridgewater. And going deep for Hill. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Bridgewater to throw for it on four. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down on a well-designed play there. That gets him 16 to move the chains. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. Bridgewater right back to Jalen Waddle for another catch to throw again on second down Bridgewater and he slings one that's incomplete another throw there off the mark and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions things just haven't been true to form for him i don't know what do you think's going on out there cd that's a great question and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem you know they always tell you no matter what you keep throwing the football with confidence well we're not seeing a confident thrower right now he's off balance the passing game's off balance and the defense is taking advantage Short completion, just four yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. They'll go for it with Edmonds. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They're able to keep the drive alive. Seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Brandon, fourth and one on their own side of the 50 and they decide to go for it as a former defender, I take that personally. I can't believe they let them pick that up. They should have swarmed the line of scrimmage and stuffed that one. Not surprised, though, because they told us about the supreme confidence they had in the O-line, and they were able to get that yard. They'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. running out of the shotgun. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. This offense so far on third down, three for seven so far in this game. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. 
They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Desperation time, fourth down, Bridgewater. Well, the D brought the house, they called the blitz, and they get to the quarterback, overwhelming the O-line. And I would love to know, and we'll find out later on, was that called before the play, or did they audible into it? Because defenses change plays as well as offenses. Sometimes they get the set they want, they go right to the blitz, and in this case, they nailed it, got right to the quarterback, no chance on that fourth down. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long, he's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. 177 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. It appears he'll be a few inches short, so nine yards on the gain officially, and it'll be third down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Now a give running left is Harris. No gain on the play there. Second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Harris running straight ahead. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Folks' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. 
I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. And going deep for Hill. This is caught inside the 15. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? Yeah. You have both of the receivers to hold them to because, as you know, this is a chance to put out the stats and they got that right. They try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Pats at the line, ready to go. We've paid this offense plenty of compliments already, but, I mean, they are deserving as they start another series to be leading by this much with so much time left to play in the fourth. Charles, it's really, really been impressive to watch. It has been, and you have to think to yourself, the preparation that went into this, but the absolute focus that they kept throughout in order to have this kind of a result, this is Super Bowl-esque, and they've got to feel awfully good about what they put out there today. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They run again with Harris. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 201 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he just continues to pummel this defense. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They hand this off to Harris. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. The tackle made by Alandon Roberts. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all blocking allow you to roam and hit and that's what he did on that play a big hitter there a first down gain of 26 yards and carries like that that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here charles in the fourth quarter yeah how about that a new set of downs clock continues to move no better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say guys keep pounding them let's keep the ball keep their offense on the sidelines and let's close this one out after the loss, they'll come up second and 13. On the give, this is Harris. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it brings forth a third and long. It shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. And now Nick Folk, his career-long 56 yards. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. Folk's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. 
Charles, even as long field goals become more and more common, this is still very rarefied air. Only just over 20 field goals have been kicked from 60 yards or further, and you can add his name to the list now. And as calm as he tried to present himself, there's no doubt there were some nerves as he lined up to attempt that kick. But once the ball was snapped, he just swept the leg and boom, over the crossbar. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Thompson's throw there into the hands of Ross. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. They're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Thompson, desperation time. Over the middle, he's got Gasicki, the big 6'5 tight end. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time, and you have to think at this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off by Jalen Mills. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 234 yards on the ground for him now with four touchdown runs tacked on. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season, and you open within the division, you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for the Patriots, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with...